far, based on the people we were talked to, um, people generally welcomed the remarks uh, with skepticism and caution, because um, as you probably know, uh, business uh, groups in China for years been pushing for reforms uh, in this um, economy, but uh, nothing has really happened so far. So, you know, this is the most recent rhetoric uh, and, of, of course, uh, the most dramatic kind of rhetoric we have seen so far. So uh, people, like, you know, they, they felt like this something stirring, something good is stirring Beijing, but we need to see more actions. But, but for, see for that, for that reason, Lingling, um, Ling Ling, you had, you had some analysts kind of in the piece saying, oh, you know, I'll believe it. I'll believe it when I when I see it, but at least directionally and aspirationally, I mean, using the word monopoly has to be one of the strongest signs we've seen we've seen yet from the from the government about how they feel about these banks. You're exactly right. The very top leadership. Sure. Ling Ling, could you pick up the Hello. phone? We're having a little bit of trouble hearing you there. You're breaking up. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, that's great. Thank you. Okay. Sorry about the probably the connection. Not great. No worries. Okay. Go go ahead with what you're saying, Ling Ling. Sure. Uh, yes. Um, genetics absolutely right. Um, this uh, monopoly, uh, this statement, uh, description of China's banks um, never being used by any other Chinese leader ever before. So it's very, very strong word. And it's an indication that um, long delayed economic reform and financial reforms in China may finally be back on the agenda. Ling Ling, one thing though, this is the outgoing premier who was giving these remarks. Of course, we're going to see a changeover in the leadership the later the this year. So is this really going to have follow through or could the new leadership come in and say, well, we're not going to be that aggressive on that? Um, that's a very good question. You're right. Premier Wen Jiabao came into the office uh, in 2003. So this is his last chance, basically. Um, Chinese leaders have tried to present this um, consensus style uh, of kind of uh, type of governing. So based on the people we have talked to, um, they do think that the next generation of leaders will continue the reforms. Uh, actually, some people even say the pace of reforms may actually pick up because they do realize better um, it's better to have reforms than no reform at all because otherwise China would have a a uh, serious um, crisis screwing in the economy. And Ling Ling, not to get so too not to get too soft on this, but you guys you guys had in your story you mentioned um, the the premier now Wen Jiabao. I mean, part of, what part of this is about is about his legacy, right? You had you guys had a quote in the story, and he was basically saying, yeah. "I have you know I have some regrets. He's ruled for ten years. Coming up is you know a guy who's expected and, and to be a little bit more open. On screen right now, right. we have you know the change in GDP. It's still you know really by yeah. U.S. standards phenomenal, but it's been slowing. Right. Uh, absolutely. China's economy is headed towards slower growth, that's for sure. And that's what the leadership recognized. Um, they have to, uh, and they have said they will transform the, the model of the growth from one that's driven by exports and investment toward one that more relies on consumers. So um, recognizing this, um, uh, the, the current leaders and the people we talked to really recognize it, the need to change. As, as to um, Premier Wen Jiabao's legacy, uh, he came into the office uh, as, with the, this reputation as a reformer, The people have been really frustrated mm -hmm. at the lack of reforms in the economy. It's because um, the, the difficulty really lies with different interest groups that, you know, led by actually uh, among them are big state-owned banks. They, they have been opposing right. no to any No surprise any kind there of that they'll want to head this off. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly, right. because that would really threaten their, you know, bottom line, and right. um, that, so, that, that's, a, that's a key interest group. 